New tonight at 11, an act of vandalism in Newton is now being investigated as a hate crime. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Christina Rex. WBZ's Laura Hayfley talked to the family whose property was defaced tonight. They say they're afraid this is the first step towards physical violence. Pictures lining this fence along Homer Street in Newton are now gone. They were faces posted by a family fighting for peace. Sunday morning, the Kazowski family woke up to this. Faces of Israeli hostages lining their fence now blacked out by spray paint or scratched away. One by one, very carefully obscuring the pictures and the names. They had to look at each of them as they destroyed them and they blotted them out from existence once again. The display along Homer Street was meant as a reminder of the violence that took place last October when Hamas militant groups attacked Israel. We really identified and obviously the tragedy of the hostages and we felt that one thing we could do, whether for ourselves or for the community, is to create some awareness. The display was up for months, supported by neighbors, even elected officials. The mayor of Newton visited the Kozowski family Sunday to ensure suspects would be caught. People are saying personally how this hurt them. The Newton Police Department is investigating the vandalism as a hate crime. Newton Police Chief John Carmichael writing in part, we denounce such behavior and our community has no tolerance for such bias and hateful acts. Are you concerned at all about your, your safety here at home? I mean, it definitely is scary that if somebody is going to so dehumanize even a child, then they're going to dehumanize all of us. And that is the first step towards physical violence. For the Kozowski family, a suspect caught may mean closure, but the vandalism serves a bigger purpose. If you could say something to the person or to the people who did this, uh, what would you say? These are human beings. We would tell the person, you know, you're actually making our point. You are showing the evil that lies within you. You're not going to shut up about it. We're going to persist. Police are investigating, looking for the suspect or suspects involved. As of now, no arrests have been made. In Newton, Laura Hayfley, WBZ News.